Hey Earth Signs, these will be autumn 2018 readings for Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus in that order. So let's jump right into uh, Capricorn. The wheel, change, possibilities. This is the uh, Spirit Song Tarot deck, Capricorn. Um, and this is what you can be prepared for in autumn of 2018. Um, change, possibilities, fate, your destiny, possibly um, steps toward your destiny unfolding, revealing itself to you uh, if it hasn't already or, or more of your destiny revealing itself to you. Um, certain, certain change though. And of course, Capricorns, you are meeting that change and those possibilities with determination. It looks like there may be a uh, a Leo energy that you should be open to in autumn of 2018, Capricorns. I love this elephant depiction of the strength card. We also see courage and endurance noted here. Um, I think not only determination, but also this, this endurance that we see here is going to be crucial Capricorns when things start changing this fall when the possibilities start revealing themselves to you whichever path you choose whatever destiny you decide to create for yourself Capricorn um It, it will be um, it will be one that that unfolds in a slow and steady way. We have the Knight of Crystals, endurance and determination. So with just three cards out, endurance is repeated already. These changes are going to lead to possibilities that have to do with avenues you've never explored in any way before, Capricorns. Um, and not only, um, not only does it require your courage because you've never tried these, this type of work, this type of relationship, uh, this lifestyle, perhaps, um, Not only does it require courage because you've never you've never been down a path quite like this before. It's a brand new beginning. You are advised here to take the risk to wander down that path, to start fresh. The traveler or the fool also has adventure and potential noted here as well, um, and it and it will be an adventure, and you have significant potential with the full the wheel and the strength card being three out of four cards that show have shown up here uh, this is your destiny this is fated for you now that's not to say that your free will couldn't um alter uh your path this but this is the one the one that you are on now is leading you right into to um Again, a choice about what destiny you'd like to create for yourself in, in autumn 2018. Uh, or, well, autumn 2018 will be um, um, 
the, the beginning of that journey. The beginning. Where, where the possibilities are revealed. A major change opens up these, these new pathways for you. And the one it looks like as of right now, the one that you're choosing, um, again, will be something that, that requires your determination and your endurance, endurance and, and will develop in a slow and steady way. It's something you've never done before, and it's going to take a long time, probably because you've never done it before, right? You probably need to take classes, you need to start fresh, you need, you know, um, uh, to be mentored or, or, you know, to be someone's apprentice in some sort of sense. Um, you need a teacher. And, it, you know, it's not necessarily work for, for a lot. It looks like work. The, the work you want to do in the world, what you want to create and add to to the world around you, Capricorns. Um, let's see how much time we have. Oh, we're only at six minutes. Okay, I'll let you look at this with me. So there you are, what to be prepared for, this major change. That gives you new opportunities, possibilities, new paths to consider, uh, new options. And opens your eyes, mind and heart up to a path that again is, is fresh, brand new. That you're that you're incredibly curious about um, makes you feel open and free, and you have to be um, uninhibited in a way to go down this path. Uh, and it does feel dangerous and risky, maybe financially. And um, yet, I you know this this is your advice is to is to take that is to take that path. Um, to be, be open-minded to this fresh start, to this scary, uh, but, but exciting, brand new um, way of looking at the world for, for some of you. Uh, now I need a, a lesson card for you for autumn of 2018 as well. I'm just trying to decide what deck we want to grab that from. Um, actually, I do want to use the Rider Weight. And I'll have information about all of these decks. Capricorn, of course, as always, in the description of the video. Now this major change um, will likely be out of your hands, the nature of it, and, and the opportunities, the, the possibilities that it presents to you, you know, you may not have much control over, over how and, and when and where those opportunities are presented to you. Um, but it will be up to you to take the leap, take the risk, and not miss the opportunity once it is presented. And I think it's I think it's one that's about I think it I think it is one that offers you financial stability and security because your lesson is going to be about mastering your financial realm, your uh, material realm, your your earthly realm, the realm of your resources, your physical, uh, material wealth and goods, um, your health, uh, what you're able to provide for your family, or it, it may, it may very well be, um, a lesson regarding a masculine uh, earth sign, um, 
figure in your life or someone who who embodies earth sign traits um but this is often you capricorns the king of pentacles this this really is your destiny your it, it allows you to express your authentic self that there are just parts of you that are going to be revealed in this work these possibilities these opportunities whatever whatever doors and pathways are opened up for you now that you choose to go down um that though they they require you to that those paths require you to be more yourself and reveal more of your authentic truth to yourself uh, that person the certain parts of 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 that of you the real you are are almost foreign to you just because you have never um, explored them before or or haven't been honest with yourself maybe because the lesson is for some some capricorns about um being yourself stepping into your skin um owning your truth and or or as i said uh mastering your your material realm And I think a lot, for a lot of you, the lesson will be regarding the fact that mastering that often is a slow and steady task. The Knight of Crystals, the Knight of Coins, the Knight of Pentacles. Um, you'll have to be loyal to the project, the work, whatever opportunity is, is presented to you. Um, and it may be a relationship with someone. You, you'll, you'll have to show that you are dependable Um to your your practice your your new work your new uh path um practically it's going to take take a while to build uh and, and to to gain what you hope to gain from this work financially and and build then what you hope to build with what you've gained um As I said, you'll need to move forward in a determined way and 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 with a sense of purpose that the that the knight of of crystals has. Um, stubborn and stuck on that purpose, believing in that purpose. And you're moving in a slow and steady way because you're showing attention to detail too. Uh, you will be in autumn 2018 to whatever work project again path that you're choosing in this or, or choosing or finding um, following it, as it is revealed in this this major change and, and as these new opportunities in your destiny are presented to you. Uh, for some of you, the choice will be obvious. Uh, but for others, there will be many choices and it, it, it will be less obvious. It will feel more like your, your choice because they're, they're, they will be so numerous and, and it will be difficult to choose. Um, but in any case, for most Capricorns, the one you're going down is going to take a long time, years, years probably for most, definitely years for most of you, um, and I want to see as well um, what's supporting you. Um, as you exercise this endurance, this courage, this, this strength, this determination, um, take this risk, go down this new path, try something new, risk looking foolish. Uh, follow your, your heart, your curiosity, um, try to remain open-minded and open-hearted and, and at the same time um, grounded and practical so that you can learn this lesson about how to slowly, steadily 
uh, master your your financial realm as as you're moving through that and 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 hopefully quickly grasping and taking advantage of these opportunities these possibilities that are presented to you before these before they they fade away before they pass what will support you on your path on the path you choose and 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 even in choosing that path for some what energy supports Capricorn in autumn 2018 as they learn this lesson about mastering their health and their finances, their resources, their family life? as they muster the courage to take the advice of taking this risk, following this brand new unforeseen path. The Four of Cups. I think the message is uh, withdrawing will, will help. You may need to spend some time alone on your own, um, even though it will it may be viewed as as withdrawing. Um, no, it's not the Four of Swords, but the Four of Cups is often um, sometimes for being forced to deal, but needing to withdraw. That is, that is more often when it is reversed, but that's the first message that came through to me, and I do think both energies are always present. 44 may be, be very significant for you. Um, for some, I have a feeling with Aries card showing up here. Um, well, first of all, the advice may be to listen to a significant Aries energy around you if they have advice um, on these matters of your financial world, your destiny, um, your choice of what path you're going to go down in autumn, Capricorn. <coughs> but I also see for some of us that uh, something happened in April. I see I'm finally ready to include myself as a Capricorn. I do have a few planets there, but for some of us... Um, Something's happened back in April that was the catalyst for all of this, for these this major change and these possibilities revealing themselves to us, for us. Um, with four showing up twice and, and then again the, the Aries card showing. But I think this path that you choose that you choose does offer you ultimately stability, a comfortable, happy home. Um, the support though, uh, again in the meantime is, for some of you to, to go ahead and withdraw, uh, even if it even if it seems like withdrawal to, to other people, don't worry what other people think about it. Um, let yourself pull away if that's what's what's needed, um, and reflect on the other opportunities that you are passing up on in order to choose the path that you are deciding upon to take the risk. What are you leaving behind? What was your sure thing? What was the job you always thought you'd do? What was the relationship you always thought you'd have? What was the path that you always had in mind that you're going to leave behind? And again, for some of you, there are many different possibilities, plural, um, opportunities, pathways that open up. And there may need to be some time to reflect on those that you are, um, that you're leaving behind. For those of you um, considering sticking with what you know and not taking a risk and going down a new pathway that, that presents itself to you in fall or autumn of 2018, what may support you ultimately in the long run is to consider how it will make you feel to have thrown this opportunity away. Will you regret it? 
right? That that's that is a message coming through for some Capricorns, um, but most I think are open to with with all of these cards showing in the upright. Most of you, I believe, are open to to taking this risk and going down this new path that that's that's completely foreign, but again, very exciting, exciting if not um, a, a little scary for you. Some actually, some Capricorns actually are too focused this fall on what it is that they can't have. Maybe you wish you could have, you could somehow take advantage of multiple opportunities, multiple pathways at once. Um, maybe though many opportunities and many pathways are now available to you, there is still one that you're missing, Capricorn. Um, something you regret from your past that you've already lost. Uh, yes, some Capricorns definitely are, are going to be focused on one path that's not available, even though many new ones will be. And that's always the case, isn't it? Anytime a door closes, there are infinite other doors that we can, can, can walk through. Um, some Capricorns are just focused on one that is not amongst the possibilities now. And... Only you can wake up and see what's being offered to you. What I can tell you is that, again, it, you, it, it, choosing this risky pathway, this new pathway that's unlike anything you've known before, does eventually lead to this secure, happy, comfortable home in no certain amount of time. Um, and, 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 it, and it will take uh, definitely months, but for, for most years, um, to, to completely attain and, and, and master this skill set, uh, um, and, and your resources connected to this path and this, this choice, this possibility, um, as it is, it will already take, take some time. Um, and so, so, you know, th there's definitely the suggestion to not, um, well, to, to, to get started down the pathway because there is, there is much work to be done. And again, it's an opportunity that can be missed. It's up to you to take the leap, take advantage when it presents itself. Yeah, some of you are some of you are missing an earth sign energy that you have to let go of, and it's a slow, painful process. Um, and there's a fire sign energy coming, trying to come in, and you're too closed off to it, and you could miss an opportunity with them, Leo uh, or Aries probably. But that's just for some. That's just you know, if it was seen from like a specifically a love angle, that's just for. For those Capricorns, not all of you, and I will I will leave it at that for autumn 2018 for Capricorns. Thank you so much for checking out the reading. If you're interested in a personal reading from me, check out the description below the video. All of the options are there, and I will go ahead and move on to who's next, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, autumn 2018. 
what can Virgos expect in autumn 2018? What should Virgos be prepared for in fall 2018? What should Virgos be open to this season? What else can they expect? What's their advice on how to best interact with, deal with these energies that they're met with? So Virgos, be prepared for um, being a little anxious, I think, um, or someone else's anxious energy around you, if it's not your own. Maybe be prepared for the shadow side of an Aries energy, possibly for some, because we have the traveler showing here that's normally the full. Here, the deck notes the keywords adventure and potential. It's normally about a new beginning, being, being free, open, uninhibited. Actually, Capricorn just got that card in the upright uh, as their advice card, but it's showing up as what you should be prepared for, so possibly a risk that you ought not take, Again, possibly an Aries energy in your life who is being very self-centered, very egoic, um, or it could be your own anxiety about a new beginning, a fresh start, uh, trying something new, uh, a new lifestyle, um, a new diet, new routine. Uh, doing something in a way you've never done it before and, and, and re sort of resisting the change, uh, resisting the adventure, uh, failing to see your own potential, um, letting your inhibitions get the best of you, and, and maybe being a little narrow-minded in that way, expecting the worst and, and, and attracting it to you even, uh, possibly for some. And... and you, you know, you have to see how you're limiting yourself in that way if that applies to you. That's not for all Virgos. Um, but you do also have the Knight of Swords in reverse. The Knight of Air, the Knight of Feathers here, action and focus, but it's reversed. The Knight of Feathers in this deck, Paulina Cassidy's uh, tarot, Spirit Song Tarot, um, but but usually the Knight of Swords, it is the, the Knight of Air. And I see, well, in this de deck specifically, As what to be open to, I think this is a message, honestly, of, of moving slower uh, than, than you expected to or normally like to, um, and, and maybe that is what this new beginning has to do with. Maybe you're doing a new type of work routine. Um, some or some new develop in your life has slowed something down um, um, perhaps you're 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 moving at this time and so you have to take a break from working on your business um, maybe you found out you are starting a family and so you have to have to take a break from whatever work you would have been doing instead or, or whatever study you would have been doing instead And in that, I can definitely see then why you would be uh, resisting that new beginning, Virgos.
But I, and I think it's, it, I think for, for some of you, it is that resistance of a new beginning, but for others, others there, there, I do see you dealing with the shadow side of an Aries energy. Again, selfish, self-centered. Egoic. Yeah, you would like to, you would like, a lot of you Virgos would like to take action. Um, ironically, It's because you're resisting this new beginning that you that you aren't taking any action. It's either a new beginning that asks you to wait, to be patient, to, to show your stamina, your determination, as we see here in the seven of acorns or the seven of wands. And you have to stand up for what you want, but you you I think that means being willing to wait for things to develop. Um for others of you, it's it's your own choice to resist this new beginning, and that's why there's no action happening. Um, and the advice is self-empowerment and ambition. The shadow card, I do believe, though, is the, the death card, or um, the, the devil card, rather. Um... So which also uh, then would speak to our um, instincts. For some of you, Virgos, if that's what exactly what you're trying to follow and they're telling you to take action, but this new beginning, this new work, it's not, it's not here yet. You know, you want it at the beginning of autumn and it's not here till the end of it. Something along those lines. Um, it just requires you to be patient, to, to exercise, you know, your dedication to, to moving forward with this thing. For others, again, you're resisting the new beginning, the new change. That's why there's no action. I'll let you look directly at these Virgos to see what you see as well. It's like, you know, some of you, I think, are addicted to um, an old way of being, an old relationship, an old job, an old pattern, habit, version of yourself, yourselves, Virgo, um, you're just sort of, you know, attached to those ways, those, those energies. And, and that's why you're resisting this new change. And that's why you're not taking action in the direction of, of this new beginning. Um, And I think you, you know, you find yourself standing up for what you're, what you're attached to, for the fact that you want to uh, move into this very slowly or very resistant to, to, to change too quickly. And you'll be, you'll be standing up for that choice of moving slowly. Um, and, and, and showing little focus in the direction that you are sort of moving in.
77 may be significant for you during autumn 2018. Virgos, you have the seven of pentacles and the seven of acorns. Um, yeah, a lot of you Virgos are just, you're not sure that this is what you want. Uh, you're, you hear you, you're standing up for your attachments to the old ways, the old person, the old job, the old habits, the old patterns, your old way of being, and you're, you're seeing that the success you're slowly moving toward in this new beginning, um, is not, is not really what you want is not going to be what you had hoped for yeah you have the chariot in reverse showing as well just no movement being still um I, you know you are showing determination stamina but i think in the way of showing dedication to these these energies from your past uh, that you're you're not ready to to detach from, and the advice is you know self empowerment and ambition, but of course that has to be in a direction that you want to to go, that you can get yourself motivated to move in, that you can find yourself believing in, dedicated to, hopeful about, inspired by. Um, And, and, and because you're still, because you are self-empowered and willing to stand up to other people about wh what you want and how quickly you want to move in, into a direction or not move into a direction that you aren't even sure about, you may, you know, you may choose to scrap this work, this project, this path entirely this this new beginning that you start to move slowly into virgo you may choose to just scrap it to just change your mind to just start over i thought i wanted to go back to school for xyz turns out i want it to be uh one two three instead right completely different chain of thought uh, I know I quit my job as a waitress because I was going to pursue music, but I realized that I, I have to be an actress or, or, or what have you, you know, these are just examples. Um, but it's like you, you know, you start this new beginning, but you're not, you're not sure about it. So you decide to move very slowly. You seem unfocused. You're not taking action, not moving forward, not feeling confident and are standing up for that for that choice to go slowly, not to take the leap, not to take the risk. And I think the advice is to move in whatever direction you feel most ambitious about. Move in whatever direction offers you empowerment, makes you feel self-empowered for walking it, for choosing it. Even if that means, and it will for some, completely scrapping a project and starting over for others it will mean accepting that success doesn't look the way that you thought it would and it, and it likely won't for for most of us and then i also want a card of support as you as you take this advice of moving in the direction that empowers you that you feel ambitious about as you uh, stand up for what you're attached to and what you aren't ready to move into too quickly. Um, what helps you is the strength card reversed. Leo energy showing here. And as the strength card reverse shows, we also have the four of swords on the bottom of the deck. So um, Many Virgos during this season, during autumn 2018, need to tend to their total health, the health of their mind, body, and spirit, Virgos. Um, we need to take a look at, 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 at all those areas, make sure that um, we're tending to our self-care adequately, appropriately in all areas. Um,
spiritually, some Virgos need to look at what what they fear in themselves, what they don't know about themselves. Um, are there any addictions that you can't tame? Because we have addiction kind of showing up twice here. Strength card can be speaking to addictions we can't take, tame. And the devil card, the shadow card in this deck can certainly be speaking to our addictions. I'm, I'm talking mostly about attachments, but that's just can be another way of saying addictions. <coughs> Excuse me, Virgos. Um, so are, is there, are there any shadow aspects like that that need addressed as far as maintaining our spiritual well-being? Uh, what, what, what type of self-discipline do we need to, to exercise? That's what it means to show unconditional love to yourself, Virgo. That's what will support you through this autumn, through these choices, um, through this new beginning, possibly scrapping this new beginning, through addressing these addictions, these attachments, if that's what it is, standing up to others, um, looking at the fact that success isn't what you thought it was and deciding if that means you're going to start over in whatever endeavors you've, you've, you've begun with autumn 2018. Um, that's what will help you. you. Truly loving yourself unconditionally, which again, you know, requires addressing spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical concerns, all, all of the above. Um, and being honest with yourself, if there is something in you that you can't tame, that you need help taming. With the Four of Swords showing there, you know, definitely send the message to me that, that rest, restful contemplation will be required. Um, gratitude for, for all that you've attained. Because we're talking a lot about an opportunity, a new beginning that you don't want, uh, resisting change, uh, moving slowly into something and, 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 and possibly scrapping something. So there's a lot of negative there potentially, and, and it's all perspective. It depends how you process it, but there's, you know, also defensiveness in the seven of wands or the seven of acorns. Um, someone, you know, protecting with determination and stamina, but but also can be, you know, needing to defend. And I think you will be standing up to other energies. Uh, so again, a lot of, there's a lot of, can pot potentially be a lot of a negative energy there. And so um, I think in that restful contemplation, it will be required of you to show gratitude for, for where you are and when what opportunities are available to you, even if you aren't interested in them. Aren't you grateful that there is this opportunity for this fresh beginning, even if it turns out that, you know what, it's really not for you, right? There's a need, there's a need to acknowledge that. I have a feeling, you know, we're talking about opportunities that not everyone has. And, and, and if not specific opportunities, then just gratitude for your life and for having made it through all that you have at this point, up to this point, right? As we can always and should always show. And, and, and there's, and there's that message of, of doing it in solemn meditation, meditation and alongside restful contemplation with the four of swords showing. So I will leave it at that for you Virgos for autumn 2018. I hope you're all taking something from the reading that you didn't have when you came to it. Thank you so much again for checking it out. If you're interested in a personal reading, scroll down, check out the description of this video for all of those options. Please make very wise choices moving through autumn and enjoy autumn 2018, Virgos. And I will move on now to Taurus at last, finally. Okay, what can Taurus expect, Taurians expect in autumn 2018? What should Taurians be prepared for this fall? What should Taurians stay open to this fall 2018? What else can Taurians expect in fall 2018? And what's the advice on how Taurians can best interact with, handle 
uh, face meet these these energies in autumn 2018. So we are looking at the very end of September 2018, October and November, of course, and then most of December 2018 for Taurians. What to be prepared for? What, what energies to stay open to? What else we can expect, Taurus? And... What advice on how to best interact with these energies? We have the Ten of Swords. Recovery, transformation are the uh, key words noted here. Uh, recovery and transformation normally follow the energy that the Ten of Swords represents to me. Uh, it's the Ten of Feathers in this deck, the... Uh, Spirit Song Tarot by Paulina Cassidy. In uh, traditional tarot decks, it would be the, the Ten of Swords normally, um, more traditional decks, and that is the Ten of Air. So normally, normally regardless of the... Um, specific depiction in any particular deck, the Ten of Air energy for me is a negative cycle ending. Um, and it may be a painful, usually is a very painful ending to that negative cycle. And of course, yes, recovery and transformation then it follows. Noted here. That's what we should be prepared for, an ending to... A negative cycle it's not it seems a little a little alarming a little scary but it's it's not because the cycle itself that is, is ongoing the pattern the habit is is negative is painful and so even if the ending has to be painful to to rid us of it it's worth it it's worth it and that recovery and transformation, it has a lot to do with our own forgiveness of ourselves. With the judgment card showing here, it's actually awakening in this deck. I love this depiction. I love this peacock. Um, but 20 is normally in a more traditional deck, the, the judgment card. Uh, it is in reverse. And the two words noted here are renewal and enlightenment. But again, it's it's showing in the in its reverse. Uh, the judgment card for me, this 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 card for me, this position for me, uh, well, not position in the spread, but but this this card in 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 the tarot deck for me is normally um, absolution. Uh, but in reverse, like I was saying, someone often someone being unable to forgive themselves and staying lost then in their mind and guilt. So Torians, um, okay, Torians. Um, so I think what I see here then is we need to be open to our own absolution and, and, and renewal, enlightenment, consequential awakening, uh, following this this painful ending to this negative cycle, uh, we will be um, very fragile, uh, and, and we are advised to keep in mind how fragile we we will be, uh, lest we we um, fall victim to to being um, irrational. Um, Queen of Cups reversed, maybe overly emotional or, or, or try to shut her emotions off entirely so she doesn't have to feel everything she's going through and, and in that way she may be numb which could lead someone to being maybe manipulative toward others I think most of us are in danger of probably going in the reverse direction and being overly emotional um, 
leaning in again to to our guilt, uh, feeling that that somehow this negative cycle went on for so long because because of a fault of our own, uh, being unable to forgive ourselves maybe for how much time was wasted in that negative cycle. Um, unwilling to 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 unwilling or unable to believe that we are worthy of the, this recovery this transformation that wants and needs to take place hereafter um, and really you know remaining in that guilt remaining lost in our mind and in that guilt is just a way of avoiding this awakening avoiding this transformation avoiding shedding whatever has to be let go of as the cycle ends as 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 we begin or or move through uh, autumn 2018 we only we can forgive ourselves though only we can allow for our own um, absolution and we can expect this forgiveness of ourself forgiveness of others ability to be seen naked in front of everyone our mistakes revealed um, and, and able to forgive ourselves for, for the way that that feels, that exposure, um, and others as we seek our, our own absolution, seek to accept our own absolution. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we can expect it to take work, to take time, to take dedication, uh, dedication and progress we see here, though, in the Eight of Crystals. Um, that, to me, speaks of, of, of uh, the, hard, the hard work that it will be. As well as, you know, you will be working hard throughout, um, throughout Autumn 2018. So there's going to be this work on yourself, this work to forgive yourself, um, to get out of your guilt, get out of your mind. Um, acknowledge the renewal that is now available to you. Honestly, working through the emotions that follow a painful ending like that. Um, having compassion for yourself without being overly emotional or shutting down as, as humans are wont to do when faced with these, this type of, of painful ending that the 10 of, of air represents the 10 of feathers here. And, 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 and working through that, uh, uh, finding a way to be enlightened by that painful experience when one feels so fragile is, uh, such work and does take such dedication. That's that's really what we're looking at here, and I think that the your lesson will probably reflect that. You have the two of wands in reverse, as what represents your lesson, our lesson in autumn two thousand eighteen, Taurus. Uh, this is possibly squandered potential because of a fear of success. Um, like I said. Um, Failing to forgive ourselves and, and for the time wasted in that negative cycle and move forward past it um, is really just a way of, of, of avoiding this enlightenment and avo avoiding this awakening and this, this new phase of our, our life uh, where we're more, more informed, more aware of what is around us, who we are, uh, what we think of the world, uh, what part we want to play in it. Um, more conscious of our interactions with, with the, the energies around us, within and around us. Um, and, and so, yeah, we're scared of our, of our, of our own enlightenment, scared of, of, of our own success, of, um, 
starting fresh after this painful ending, the cycle we were stuck in, the pattern, the relationship, the job, whatever we were stuck in that had to end, uh, that way of life, that, that way of being, um, it was a negative cycle. It, it did need to end, uh, and yet we're afraid to start fresh without it. We, we don't know quite who we are with, without this, this skin we've just shed. And so we're failing to make plans. Maybe it was, you know, was a partnership, it was a person, and and the way the relationship ended was was very, very harsh. Like I said, it's often a painful ending to a, a negative, painful cycle. Um, and and we could be very lonely. And so that's why we're failing to to make plans to um To, to move forward. Um, it's like we don't feel prepared without this other person, this other these these other energies with us. Like I said, we, it's it's old shin, it's old skin we needed to shed, but we just don't we don't recognize ourselves outside of it. Maybe, and we don't feel quite comfortable without it. Um, there's just there's just a lot of fear about moving forward now. Um, Probably, too, because we're doubting ourselves, because we do need to forgive ourselves, and we're in such a fragile state, and it's hard to find the, the strength to do so at this time. Um, we're missing that old partnership or the old ways, and, you know, the only thing that it seems that we have to distract ourselves in autumn of 2018 and to focus on instead is more hard work, if anything. Uh, this emotional work we're going through is, is already very difficult and then we we can you know focus on our our career our job instead um, but you know that, that, that that's the only reprieve is, is more more work and that may be very helpful for for a lot of us <coughs> I know it has and and uh, would be for me is already and certainly will be yes I can I can see how this fits it looks though like uh, what will support us in the in this endeavor to forgive ourselves this lesson about being afraid of our own evolution and success and doing so from a very fragile emotional state is being a warrior for the truth. Um, that's the only thing that, you know, I, is worth being a warrior for, uh, and, and is a positive message that the Five of Swords uh, does often remind me um, remind me of. Uh, some of you need to have it out with this this other energy, this this ex partner or roommate or friend or or um, a family member that you you've had a significant ending with. Some of you need to to have it out. Uh, with somebody, with, with, with a person or people, you need to speak your mind. You need to let them know, and it will be a fight. It will be an argument, but you need to let them know how you feel. You need to hear them out. Um, the, the, what I wanted to say with the awakening showing up in reverse here is to be honest. Be honest about your mistakes. It's like you're afraid of, of being naked in front of everyone, I'm afraid of, of, of your absolution because you're afraid of and that's probably a lot of the success that you're afraid of. Um, you're just afraid of being completely seen. It's hard enough for you to forgive yourself and then to be seen for for um, whatever has happened in this situation. It's just it's like it's too much for a lot of us uh, Taurus. Um, but the but I think we should be honest 
and uh, own our mistakes, admit our mistakes, and and as I said before, forgive others' role in this negative cycle pattern and, and painful ending as we forgive ourselves and our own role in it. But but I think for, for a lot of us, there's some speaking our mind and getting that truth off of our chest that's still required as we move through autumn 2018 that hasn't happened yet and is going to need to happen. That may be part of the hard work, um, but I also see that as a message that's, that's detached, that's its own separate um, energy. We will also just be working a lot and, and trying to focus there a lot. And then again, there's the message of be careful not to shut down emotionally and become numb. We wouldn't want to be manipulative toward anyone else. And we also need those emotions to communicate with us about like our creative inspirations that will probably push this work forward and lead to lots of different options, avenues, possibilities, choices for us in the future but yeah as far as you know forgiving ourselves and moving forward maybe we need to just go ahead and be honest with with ourselves and openly with others about how we feel about the role they played in that negative cycle and ending about how you know how we feel about our own mistakes and just get it off our chest and by no means suggesting any sort of physical fight hopefully it can be done over the phone or something um you know, but but I do see it being an argument, a disagreement. You know, it won't be a pleasant exchange, and yet sometimes those are necessary, right, to exchange truths, um, to clear the air. And, um, yeah, to leave things in, a, in a, to to give closure to to every party involved, and and leave things in a space where where everyone understands um, what has happened that really, you know, encourages and supports, allows for, for, a, for a, uh, moving forward in a healthy way, moving past it, beyond to, you know, your next stage, which is this uh, awakening in the upright, this renewal, this enlightenment. Okay, so we will we will leave it there. Taurus, uh, thank you so much for checking the reading out. I guess I can let you continue to gaze upon it for a minute longer. Um, do, um, if you feel called to do so, uh, I really appreciate the, the, the likes and, and uh, on this video and subscribes to the channel uh, if you haven't done so already. Thank you very much. And do check out the description box below if you are interested in a personal reading from me all of your options are there um otherwise i i love you so much taurus and i will post another tarot fix for you as soon as i can